the clock is ticking for president obama and congress to avoid the six hundred billion dollar fiscal cliff by the end of this year despite the uncertainty markets have been clawing upwards and the u.s economy is seeing signs of recovery financial forecaster gary Schilling gives us a glimpse of what's in store so what's happening is the economies are kind of down here slow growing at best and yet the markets uh, stocks in particular but also commodities and credit markets they are wallowing in the credit that's being created by central banks. And they've gotten to the point where they almost say, oh, goody, 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 I hope the economy is so bad that the Fed or the European Central Bank or somebody has to come in with even more credit. Are you a fan of Ben Bernanke and do you like his strategy for the past couple of years? I don't think he's, I don't think he's had much choice. Uh, I mean, the, the Fed has gotten very deeply into fiscal policy. Their independence is at risk. But I'm not sure that, particularly when you go back to 08, when there was a near meltdown in Wall Street, that the Fed had much choice. And more recently, of course, you've had gridlock in Washington. Fiscal policy has been on hold. So it's really been kind of left to the Fed. You know, something, somebody has to do something, right. and it's up to the Fed. Let's come back here to Washington, D.C., and Congress and the fiscal cliff. There's a lot of talk that uh, a, a deal is in place behind the scenes. But there also, there's also discussions that they'll work out a half deal and they'll kick it down the road and they'll deal with it sometime in 2013. In, in, in your view, as an investor and someone who advises very large investors, what's your preference in terms of what they can do realistically? Well, I'm in the business of forecasting what I think will happen, not what should happen. And that, those <laughs> are the policy wonks. They're a different, they're a different bunch, they're a different breed of cat. Uh, but what I think will happen, well, first of all, the election didn't change anything. A lot of money was spent but you basically have the same. same Congress. You got the you got the same uh, occupant in the White House. So why should anything change from the gridlock we we've, we've had? Yeah, you got the pressure of the fiscal cliff. You had that a year ago. And what did they do? They in December they postponed it for three months, and then in February they postponed it for the rest of the year. The same tax cuts, the same cuts in in uh, in uh, Social Security uh, uh, taxes, and so on and so forth. I think what they may do. Now I'll put this in the speculation uh, camp, Philip. But what I think they may do is basically to extend the current measures. They'll twink them a little bit. Uh, they don't want to make it look like they're not uh, uh, getting more money out of the, the wealthy, but, but the increase in taxes for over $250,000, that's sort of a, that's a showdown at the OK Corral. I don't think they'll get to that. But I think what they may do is what politicians always love to do, and that is take measures that are not going to hurt until later. Preferably after they the, retire the, from Congress. They'll agree to something right. that doesn't happen And there happen is something they later. can do in that area. Now, whether it'll have credibility or not is, is interesting to see. But they can attack the long-term deficit issue, which is really the retiring post-war babies. The Social Security, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Medicare, those are the really big problems. That's the deficit down that, the road. That, that's a whole other two-hour yeah, show we're going to have to do. But what they might do is, is basically uh, make some measures on that, increase the retirement age, for example. Well, that isn't going to affect anybody for a, for, for a few years. And, and, and that would show that they are, they are doing something, but it wouldn't really disturb the situation. And right now, if they were to tighten things up, if they let all these things expire, uh, the Congressional Budget Office says that the deficit would go down 500 uh, billion dollars. It wouldn't. It and we'd wouldn't. be in a recession. It wouldn't. Right. Because we'd be in a major recession. Tax collections would be less. Welfare payments, unemployment sure. insurance would be more. It wouldn't happen. 